Welcome to the channel friends. In this video, I will be discussing some of the important learnings from the interview of Ratan Tata which took place at Stanford Graduate School of Business somewhere 8 years back in 2013. Ratan Tata is a person who resides in the hearts of many Indians because of his contribution to the society. He is an Indian industrialist, former chairman of Tata Group. Some of the significant companies under Tata Group are TCS, Tata Consultancy Services, Tata Motors, Tata Steel, Titan Company, etc. Moving on to the learnings. You should have to let go those who are resistant to change in business because they will be the one who will come in path of growth. This was also mentioned by Indra Nohi in her interview. When you know you have to make a change and people don't come along, you wait for a little while. But then after that, at some point, you've got to say enough is enough. You know, every third week, there's going to be a series of retirement parties. You're out. Because if we don't do that, again, the people who've been in the company 20, 30 years pull you down. Sadly to say, when Ratan Tata succeeded J.R.D. Tata as a chairman of Tata Group, he asked many of the employees, not many, but few of the employees to leave the company because of this behavior of not changing. When you acquire an indigenous company in foreign countries, then don't try to change the core values and destiny of that company. Instead, support the managers who are already working there. Because if you try to turn around the company totally, there is a high possibility that the brand value of that company will be lost. Taking risk is a part of business, but it should be calculated. Because risk, more the risk, more is the possibility of getting a reward. Note, it is just a possibility of getting a reward. It's not guaranteed that you will get a reward. So more the risk, more the possibility of getting a reward. In order to effectively manage more than one company under the group, assign capable employees as the CEO of each company and then your task as the chairman of the group will be to review each company's performance. In case of major problem or decision, you will be working with the CEO till it is solved and then step back. While taking major decisions, or tackling major problems of a company as the chairman of the group, you must confirm the information given by the CEO by communicating with the employees on the shop floor. Just don't just blindly follow the CEOs. You need to put yourself into the shoes of the customer to create a good market fit product. A single word to explain this sentence would be empathy. And this was what Satya Nadella discussed in his interview. I say innovation is all about meeting unmet, unarticulated needs of customers. Where is that source of your ability to get in touch with that unmet, unarticulated need going to come from? It's going to come from your ability to, in some sense, be able to listen between the lines, uh, to be able to extrapolate. Uh, and that's, to me, deep sense of empathy, right? So people talk about design thinking. I think design thinking is empathy. Mm -hmm. Uh, and so therefore I do believe that, you know, life teaches you empathy and, you know, empathy is the source to success in any innovative uh, agenda you have. When you invest a significant amount of company's profit into so corporate social responsibility, CSR, make sure that the investors are not against you because those profits are their shares. For those who don't know what is corporate social responsibility, it is just a kind of philanthropic contribution that the company does towards the environment or society. One way to boost the economy is to support a meritorious idea, regardless of any discrimination. Then only there is a possibility that the country might grow in the upcoming times. I can give you one example of a country you might be popularly aware of that is United States of America, US. 
many major companies are based in US because of this philosophy and that is why US is known as the land of opportunity with this anirudh here signing off through me hypnotized by the sounds of breathing and hold tight